Hello, Mike MDs here. Today we're working on a 2011 BMW 335 IS. We're replacing this upper windshield molding. Uh, they go bad, the sun just rots them up. Uh, first things first, uh, preparation is everything. We're gonna put some tape on here and get it ready. All right, the good thing about this seal is, especially if the glass is original glass, uh, you can replace this seal separately without removing the glass. Uh, sometimes if the windshield has been replaced already, the previous uh, installer may have put too much glue here. So when they go to squish it down, it could mushroom into the seal, making it hard not only to remove this seal, but also to reinstall it. You'll have to dig some of that excess glue out. All right, and you could basically just get something like a plastic little wedge tool and pry this tip up. It'll pop straight up here. And you can see I propped it in the back with like a little rubber uh, bushing. Now there's some clips that hold these on. They're likely to break. You're gonna wanna order those beforehand. And they just clip in and slide in. Uh, sometimes they're one piece only. Sometimes you can reuse them just depending on how old or brutal they are. In this case, I'm gonna have to replace probably like three or four of them. That's not a problem there. Okay, now that I have this rubber piece off here, this is where the metal starts, I can see. And this one's probably gonna start around here, but I'm gonna work on this side first. And I have one hand here because the other one's on the phone and I don't want to scratch the paint. So I'm going to kind of just show you what I'm going to do. So you basically want to get under here and get that C channel. It's kind of like a C channel metal uh, layer that runs all the way uh, up and down. And you kind of want to get it up and out of the windshield like this. And I'm basically, you just don't want to just yank it out right here because one, you're going to mess the paint up on this. Uh, leading edge here and also you can crack the glass. So what we want to do is kind of like pull up and roll out And twist it kind of like this see Just like that All the way down just take it easy take your time The whole point is to preserve this windshield normally the seal goes on The outer perimeter of the windshield before it's laid down you can't do this on all BMW windshields, but many of them you can, especially the three series. As these little pieces start crumbling and falling down here, they can get stuck in the drain and also start smearing down in here. Uh, you wanna collect that stuff. I usually like to put a rag here. Microfiber is perfect because afterwards it kind of clings to it and any leftover stuff, it's easy to just kind of wipe out. It just holds on to it. All right, now the tough part of this job is some of these models like this one, it has some double-sided tape that holds that lip on and it's straight to the body. Um, there's a couple ways to get it off. Uh, the last case scenario I use is a, is a plastic razor. I don't like to because it kind of scrapes the paint a little bit if you have some dust. Uh, what I like to do is I kind of pull it back and then roll it and a plastic glove, I mean, I'm sorry, a, a rubber glove actually really helps kind of grab as you roll it like this. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. You're just gonna have to have some patience and work it, but in reality, this is the, the best and fastest way that, that I have. I know they have machines and tools for this, but if you're doing this at home, you're not gonna have those type of things. All right, now I'm working on this upper lip here. Same thing, I kind of work the, the leading edge of the metal strip, kind of work it up and out like this, kind of like a rotation, and again, All right, now I have all the stuff off here of the paint and the glass as well. Uh, we're going to want to prep for the new seal. So what we're going to do now is uh, get all this gunk off of here, uh, clean the surface with a Windex and a microfiber just to get any uh, dust or debris off here. And this crust right here, I like to just scrape it with a razor uh, just to kind of clean it off like that. It's really easy. It doesn't hurt the windshield. All right, here's the new seal. This is the back side here, and then you can see there's some double-sided tape. You take that off after you lay the seal down first, and there's a lot of school of thought on how to install this seal. Everybody has their own method. I preferably like to install the upper corners first, leaving it bowed in the center, and then working the center in. Uh, the back side of the seal, you can see it has a little centering notch, so you know where the center is, so you can line it up with the uh, 
rain light sensor area and get a good idea of where you're at there. Uh, if you're fighting it, you can use some Windex to kind of like help slide it around or push it in. Uh, I, per I personally don't like doing it, but if I'm fighting it, I will do it just because it has to like dry and it takes a while uh, for it to dry. All right, you can see I have one of the corners in here, right here, and then on the other side, and I left it kind of slack in the middle. Uh, this is a good idea because this right here in this corner, you can shift it up and down and back and forth to kind of center it just right. That way when you have everything set on the corners, kind of work your way in on the sides a little bit. I like to put the top in first, get that all dialed in, um, and then do the side ones here. Right, now I'm almost done here. When you're going in with this top part, what you wanna do is you wanna push down, work it down, and then push down. So push down and then down towards the bottom of the windshield. So down, that way it settles in and then sets in like this. So all the way down and you kinda of wanna make it even. It's not gonna be perfect because, you know, it's rubber and metal and stuff. Uh, but once it's laid out in the sun, a couple days, it will kinda of get uniform shape and color as well. So now comes my favorite part. Assuming underneath here is all nice and dry, then now you can just pull this puppy out and that double-sided adhesive is gonna lay in there nicely, make a nice little bond, and along with the sides. And the sides here, you might have some leftover residue, you can clean that off after. And be careful when you're going in with this one. Uh, this one's a little hard because uh, it's sometimes it's warped from the manufacturer and so what I like to do is set it in the best I can with my thumb and then I get a, uh, a plastic wedge tool put it in there and then shift it forward this way to kind of like help it settle in and you kind of work it in make sure it's nice and even be careful because if you stab down too hard it will puncture through uh, this thin membrane here it's kind of like a little flap okay now we're done with everything I have it outside so we can see a little bit better and it looks really good looks really nice the customer is going to be definitely happy we did use a factory seal by the way always use a factory one only because the aftermarket stuff it just does not last uh like not even a year so you want to use factory keep it nice especially after all that work you put into it thanks for joining me today i have tons of other videos just like this if you own a bmw or a mini cooper this is the place for you please like and subscribe and happy motoring to you